Slide one, as promised, looks at the title of today's class. And the reason why it has a slide is simply because there are two words for body in Georgian. Now I want to introduce you the rabbit hole that I went down to remember the difference and the use of both. Now, Scheulis Natselebi, in a medical sense, of course, are pieces, parts of the human body, okay? Using Scheuli as the body. The word che means tree. So just imagine that your body is a tree, and this is the one. Che, tree. That's it. That's your tip. Scheulis ena, body's tongue? No. Body language. Remember that ena, this, dita, ena, ena means language. So, body language, right? Scheulis ena. Your BMI, if you, like me, in the English speaking world, Calculate your BMI, it's important to you. Then in Georgian, it's the Scheulis Massis Indexi. That's what it's called. Now, if you're thinking, how do I do that in Georgian? Here's an example I found online. Put in, like you would in English, your gender, your height, your weight. So, Katsi, if you're a male. Kali, if you're not. There's nothing in between yet. But who knows, Georgia is a modern forward-thinking country. You never know. Anyway, just for now, gender. Zerda, your height. That's my height. Zona, your weight. That's my weight. And then Gamo Tzvla, calculate. With this information, you can calculate your BMI in Georgian. And it's your Scheolis Massis Indexi. Now, Dani also means body, but more of an aesthetic sense, more in an abstractly aesthetical way, but I will say that it's in a coincidence, but the t trunk of a tree, like we use in English, the trunk of a body, we have the upper part of the body, but the trunk, um, is called chis dani. Literally, it is the trunk of the tree, it's the body of the tree. Such an interesting word when I found it. It just really brought this whole concept for me together. Of course, I've mentioned this to a few of my friends in Georgia. They find it quite fascinating. It's clearly not based on scientific evidence. It's just from an English language perspective, the connection that I made. Another connection I also saw, Vachtank Gorgasali. This word in Persian means wolfman, body of a wolf, embodied by a wolf, wolf bodied. It's used to describe him as a powerful man, but also uses the root dan. He was the king of Iberia between the 5th and the 6th century in Georgia. If you go to Tbilisi, there's a statue of him up near a church, and he's credited with giving the name of Tbilisi to um, Body Butter. If you go to the UK, you know what this is. Not Tscheolis Karaki. That sounds creepy. Tani's Karaki is an aesthetic product. It smells nice. You can buy it in a beauty shop. Sexualori Tani. Hot body, nice, fit, healthy person. Probably a person that looks after their Scheolis Masses Indexi too. But you wouldn't say Sexualori Scheoli. That, again, gets into that creepy zone. It's almost like you're in the morgue and you're looking at it from an anatomical sort of way. Sexualori Tani. Now, of course, I like to reference Jakob Gokebashvili. Deda ena, language, scheulis ena, body language. Now, one of his texts, there's another book, actually, I quite like this is that one I'm just showing you for reference, but this is my old school one, which I love. And this text that I want to recommend is called Scheulis Natselebis Chubi. Now, this text, according to Iakob Gogebashvili, Iakob Gogebashvili's Textis michet vit Scheulis nats ilebis chubi. It is a weird text, an argument between the body parts. It's online. There's also a video on YouTube, not by me, that if you want to practice the parts of the body after this class, then perhaps that's just an introduction and a reference to Jakob Goke Bashvili's work and just an extension of today's class, if you want. I will say that the person that I read this with found the entire text absurd, but it was quite a nice way to practice the vocabulary, and so that's why I'm recommending it to you.